Hi, Duck79 here. I'm doing a little video um, to hopefully help some of the people out there. For about a year now, I have been um, helping a lot of people um, convert their old analog tapes off their uh, uh, DV, mini DV, uh, video 8, uh, VHSC, digital 8, um, hi 8. I've been doing all these, these um, capturing footage and uh, digitalizing them. And the problem I've had is that um, finding a device to get the data on the computer. Now, I got one of these Easy Cap, which the nickname in the industry, as I've learned from Riddick, etc., after trying to solve this problem, is Easy Crap. Uh, the, the concept's great, the idea of it, and the, 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 it should work. But you might have found that when you use these on your computer, you get um, rainbow in effects and all sorts. Um, but I found a workaround, so hopefully this video is going to help anyone out there. So, what it is, I've got this easy crap, I mean easy cap, and um, for example here, uh, I'm using a uh, Hi8 uh, camcorder. Good thing about Hi8 is it will play um, Video8, uh, Hi8, and also just... Um, uh, eight mil film, so they're great high eights. Um, so this one, obviously, this one hasn't got a uh, DV out. If it had a fire wire, that would make life really easy. But I'm trying to get this analog signal onto here. Now, anyone who's done this would have found that when you plug your uh, Easy Cap into your laptop, uh, into the camera. When you press play, what happens is the footage comes through sort of really rough. Um, you get these banding lines at the top, uh, it's black and white. I have noticed that if you go into configure video and turn that hue right up, and that saturation right up, you kind of get some colour, but you get these banding lines. And the more and more I played around and did research, it seemed to be, it's, it's, it's some sort of analog to digital. It's a codex problem of some sort. I tried all sorts. I'm using OBS, because OBS um, has, it, you can do so much more with the picture. Forget about all that software that comes with it. OBS, plug it in. You can see, but you get these lines, these banding lines. In dark scenes, it's fine, but anything daylight, um, it's in a right mess. So, I was trying to rattle my brain on how to get around this. So I came to the conclusion uh, that if I could bypass the camera, we can solve this. So what I've done, and this is working so far, is I've got the easy cap. And instead of plugging your easy cap into the camera, Plug it into an old video player. <laughs> so I've got a little video player down here. You plug, plug it into your video line in on the front of a video player. And what you're doing here, from what I've worked out looking online, you're taking the camcorder's analog footage, you're sending it into a video player, which sends out a slightly different signal. Then, from the video out on the video player, you plug that into your easy cap. So we're going through the video player basically. So once you turn your video player on, you uh, obviously have to uh, input the right input. So on this one, I'm on line two. If I press play on this camera. What I find is whenever I've changed an input, I have to go into device, change it to something else, and then change it back. Now when I press play on here, the picture is absolutely perfect, or as perfect as you're going to get it. All the banding, the rainbow banding, the easy crappy rainbow banding's gone, and it's all working. So that is my workaround. And if you want to go one step further, 
instead of using the audio through the video player, send a uh, headphone jack off your device into OBS, make a channel for that. And there you have it. Uh, so this, <laughs> this took me so long to work out. Uh, basically, a lot of people just give up with these devices. But uh, I seem to have worked it out, and hopefully other people out there um, will also find this useful. Duck 79 out. Now I've just got all these tapes to do.